Hey guys, this is a video on how to do uh, Zoom. Um, we'll just get back on this um, thing, phone, as you can see. Um, you need to download Zoom. Um, make sure there's plenty of room on your mobile device that you are using so that um, Zoom will load in. If not, then delete a few unused apps and it will load on. Once Zoom has already gone, you can see the Zoom there. Once Zoom's already gone, um, download it onto your phone. Just leave it in the background. Don't, sus don't subscribe to it or anything or pay, in, uh, pay anything because it's free. Um, just to link in and go into Zoom calls. Um, I have my own account that I pay for, so it'll all work with that. But um, because I sent myself the Zoom link, uh, I've already got a Zoom meeting up there that I've logged into, so that's the host account. Um, but I sent it myself in Messenger, so I'll click on the Messenger, and look for me. That's the link at the bottom. I know there's another there that did one previously. But that's the link at the bottom there, so I should just click on that and it'll bring me into the Zoom app. Um, as you'll see, when you first come in, it'll ask you for your name. So you just put your name in, put your full name in if you wish, or just your first name, whichever. So I know some things do ask you to put your full name in. Um, press agree. Please allow me Zoom access permissions. Got it. Press allow. See you there. You can see me in the video. So you press join with Zoom. All right. This is a waiting room. This is what this here is a waiting room. What I will do is, as the host up there, I shall press that blue button that says admit. That's what the host does. When you're coming in and you're waiting, you'll see this, and the host has to admit you. So I'll press that admit button. Um, and it will show me coming in. You see, look. You just have to agree to the terms and what have you to come up. Um, you'll see double images there, it's allowed me in. Um, the most important thing that you need to do is press Wi-Fi cellular. There look, always press that. So don't press the dial in because it's very complicated doing it that way. So you press dial and it allow everything. So now as you can see, I've got a menu come up. I have to tap the screen to get the menu to come up. But as you can see, you've got mute. Tap the screen again. You've got stop video mute. If you press any of those, you get a red line coming through. Press the X on that, get rid of that. Because I need to talk to them later. Um, so I'll press the menu look and you can see it's a red line through the mute. And I can also do the same with the video. But I don't want to do that just yet. You've got a screen share there. Tap the screen again. And then you've got more down here. So if you press more on the right hand corner, you get an option to chat. So you can go in chat, meeting settings, disconnect audio and all that and do all those. But usually people press chat and go into the chat room. And you get this come up. You've got a close option. You can do the chat and you're pressing your type thing there, wherever you want to type to people. And when you come out of it, obviously you press close and you come back into the uh, the meeting. But if you ever want to um, share your screen, just tap your screen again and press share screen. So you press that green button and you get these options coming up. Microsoft OneDrive, etc. But you scroll down to whatever you want, but you'll be screen sharing, so you press screen share. Um, 
just ignore that part there just press start now all right and then it's sharing the screen it will share the screen uh, I've just got to allow that to do that and then go back um, and then it's allowing me to do it it's allowing me to share my screen now as you can see it's on there it's the same thing and if I move that that will move that as easy as that I've turned all the volumes down and everything on the other one up there so it doesn't interfere with this one so if you ever want to stop screen sharing as you can see right down the bottom here there's a little line it's a box that you just press that and it comes up to stop sharing screen so you press stop sharing screen and it does it and you're back if you ever want to leave press the top right hand corner uh, where the red button is and then press to leave the meeting there and you've left easy I'll just get rid of everything then and that's it guys